Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Writing in Cars with Books. Woohoo! I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Philip. And today we're going to be discussing She Hulk Volume 1. Well, new Volume 1, I guess. Right. The most recent series. Um, this started 2022. Cover art by the lovely Jen Bartel. And written by Rainbow Rowell. And there's two artists in this collection, but I feel like I'm going to butcher their names, so I don't want to do that. But the art's solid. It's very good art. Yes, very good art. I think um, one artist does, like, the first two or three, and then the second artist does, like, the last two or three. It's five issues collected in this trade. So, my first question is, Philip, did you only read this? Because Jim Bartel was doing the covers. That's a trick question. Is it? Yeah, because actually it's yes. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason I, mean, I picked up the book to begin with is because Jim Bartel was doing the covers. They're good covers. They are. They are very good covers. And there's some good variant covers too, but Jen did amazing work on these covers. And she brought back the uh, corner box. Yes. The She-Hulk corner box, it's which is also here. great. Yeah. yeah, it's not on the trade, but it's actually on the... Uh, So you can see the corner box up there that she did on all her covers. So, I have never read She-Hulk before. So, Philip gave me some background information before I started reading this. Would you like to tell the rest of the people? Sure. So, this so this She-Hulk is coming out of her big storyline on the Jason Aaron run of Avengers. Where she's like the savage She-Hulk or like the grayish She-Hulk. Where she's kind of mindless but not... And so the ramifications out of that storyline that Jason Aaron did is leading into this because she's trying to find her basically a new job. She's trying to find herself again after all that stuff that happened with her over there. After Jason Aaron decided to put her through the ringer. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why she was trying to... Like, the first thing said former attorney, and I was like, wait, what? Why is she no longer an attorney? Did she get disbarred? What happened? Right. I don't know. But she's still an attorney. She's just not working for the same firm? Correct. So why do you say former? Well, because she was mindless for a while over in the Avengers storyline. Okay. So it's... And then a guy that you see frequently in this story arc is Jack of Hearts. Right. So that is what he gave me background information on right. before so, I read this. So for... Also, more background information. The last time that we saw Jack of Hearts was during Avenger, ben, uh, Michael Bendis' Avengers Disassembled, where he went up in a space and he exploded. So Jack of Hearts has been gone for quite a while. Yeah. And then he now appears in this She-Hulk story. And he doesn't have really any memory of what happened, why he goes to Jen for help. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, there's some other, I'd, I've watched the She-Hulk show, so some of these uh, characters I know from that, I'm just being honest, I've never read her books before, but Titania makes an appearance, and they just like to fight. Right. So they start a fight club, because they realize, like, we just like fighting each other, we don't necessarily need to have a reason, so let's purposely meet up and fight. Right. They need to blow off some steam. Yes. And, and so to blow off some steam... Yeah, they create Fight Club, basically. And they don't really talk about it, right. obviously. So, so First it's, rule. Right, so it's She-Hulk, Titania, and Volcano that start their own Fight Club. Well, Ben was like... Well, Ben shows up because he thinks... Why that wasn't actually, I invited? He thinks they were really fighting, but they're not really fighting. So he tries to break it up. Um, so, so that's pretty good. And again, so Jen starts working for... What was her name again? Oh my gosh. I don't know. She starts she goes to another lawyer firm basically to begin working again. With Mallory Book. Right. So former Miss Utah. The yeah, best so lawyer they, in New York. So they basically so she's willing to give Jen a closet. A closet, literally. So closet. she can kind of start doing law again. Because once again, she wants to find herself. Find herself. Yeah. And so she's in this literal closet with no clients. And then 
Ben again is like being a friend and trying to give her work. All these other superheroes calling her, trying to give her work, but she says she doesn't take specials. But she'll do it anyway, just probably for free, because that's how Jen is. Um, and some people like her better as She-Hulk, and some people like her better as Jen. Right. And then, like, a part of it is basically, since Jack of Heart shows up and he doesn't remember anything, some of this is She-Hulk trying to help Jack of Hearts figure out what happened to him between the time he exploded during Avengers Disassembled and showing back up. Now in this first story arc, a lot of some of that is teased, but you don't really deep dive into that a whole lot. And so one of my favorite tropes that they created in this book is is every issue, since Jack of Hearts doesn't remember anything, she's like, should I tell him about disassembled? Yeah, her inner dialogue is driving her yeah. mad. So it's like she she brings she brings it up to herself every issue. She hasn't told him yet. So in the first five issues, but it's like, should I tell him about this symbol? Yeah, so he really he has no idea. And Phillips likes to say this is a great book where nothing happens, but I feel like stuff happens. Yeah, stuff happens, but it's there's no point to it. Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know. Like it's all about like Jack of hearts and then you get the fight club. So there's really cool things and there's fun things that happen. They try, right? to, they try to be funny. Right. It's so it is once again, it is a very fun book. Uh, they're building up uh, basically she hulks or Jen's whole um, gallery of like characters to bring back around their supporting characters. Ooh, that was a hard Ooh. word. School word. Rogue um, Gallery. Well, that's not... But who is this guy? They mention his name in there. Do they? I just remember... Kinda. He just keeps reciting I, Jack I of Hearts. I think at the very end. Stole the tarts. And then April is his wife. Right. So it's... They're kind of bringing in, like, why or who... We don't know who these people are and what they have to do with Jack of Hearts being missing since he exploded. Oh, his name is Mark. Right. I knew they gave him a name. But he just keeps reciting the poem, and his wife, April, keeps telling him more parts of the poem. And so he attacks Jack of Hearts because he thinks he stole the tarts. And I'm just like, what is happening? I don't know. But that's how it ends. Well, thanks, dear. Um, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. That's how it ends. Um, so to be continued, we'll maybe find out more about Mark and why he wants to attack Jack of Hearts. Like it's all tied into why <laughs> Jack of Hearts has been missing for years. I like and, him. I like yeah, how yeah. he was like, I watch makeup tutorials so I can cover up this side of my whole face. Right. So if anyone is familiar with Jack of Hearts, you know he's he one side of his face has a heart tattoo. Yeah, on he's it, so. like purple, like straight down the middle, like purple with a heart on his eye. And Jen gives him a sweater with a heart on it, and I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, she's <laughs> she uh, she messes with him a lot. Yeah, they kind of mess with each other a lot in that, like the, not practical jokes, but just kind of Jen humor. Things. It's right. Jen humor. But uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't remember Disassembled, that's where Scarlet Witch made everything awful because basically. Jen ripped the vision in half and Hawkeye died and Jack of Hearts ended up taking some of the radiation from Jen or She-Hulk and then he went up to outer space and exploded and so it's bringing all that back been, in. And there's his heart switcher. So, but it's actually, the book is, the book is actually well written. Um, it's a really good She-Hulk story. Um, like I said, if, if you're looking for a book where it's her going out and just battling supervillains, it's not going to happen in this book. Like, most of her battles is literally with Titania and their fight club. Yeah, and Mark. Um, but she made a comment that this Mark guy kind of reminds her of Bruce. Right. Right? Yeah. And I think that's funny, his name is Mark. Anyways, um... I forgot what I was going to say before that. Oh, I don't know anything about Jack of Hearts, but I found it interesting that he'd never needed to eat, drink, or sleep before, and all of a sudden he's, like, drinking and eating and sleeping. So, obviously, something changed in his cosmic powers right. when he died. 
yeah, something something's going on weird with his cosmic powers. He's not putting off the radiation that he used to put off when he had his cosmic powers. So that once again, it's all a part of Jen and Jack of Hearts trying to really kind of figure out what's going on with Jack. Yeah, so stay tuned to find out more. But yes, the it's uh, really once again really well written. The art does does the whole book justice. The covers um, are just beautiful. And Jim Martell is the cover artist for this, which uh, she continued on after this original five-issue series. So they're still gorgeous. But the story's been good. If you're, if you're once again, if you're looking for something that's fun, um, this has been really fun. Like, if you want nothing but just mindless battles, you're probably not going to get it in this book. And pretty green women. But, yes. I like it. Yeah. And that's so that's issue one through five of the current She Hulk series. Yes. In this volume one. series. Yep. So if you like this review or rambling, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, comment what you want us to see us do next, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.